Hello, discrete math fans. If you talk about modern computers, they're going to use a fixed number of bits to represent integers. Now, for instance, you will have heard a computer system or a gaming system referred to as a 32-bit machine or a 64-bit machine. Did you ever stop to think about what that means? That tells you how many bits are used to represent integers on that machine. Now those bits are actually also used to represent negative integers. The most common way of dealing with negative integers is to use something called the twos complement representation. This method is going to give us a very nice way of adding integers very easily. First let's give a definition. Given a positive integer a, the twos complement of a relative to a fixed bit length n is the n bit binary representation of 2 to the n minus a. So we have to decide on a bit length that we're going to use and that's going to tell us how to compute the twos complement. Now as I mentioned above, 32 bits and 64 bits are very common, but the concepts are the same no matter how many bits we use. So just for simplicity and to keep our life easy, we're going to do all of our calculations with 8 bits. All right, as an example, let's compute the 2's complement of 37. And again, we're going to do this under the assumption of an 8-bit calculation. So our solution is to subtract 37 from 2 to the 8th. 2 to the 8th is 256. That gives us 219. Then we express 219 in binary. We do that by adding up various powers of 2 to get 219. And so our final result is going to be 11011011. So this right here is the 2's complement of 37. There's actually a really easy way of doing this with a lot less arithmetic than using the actual definition. This method is going to be based on three facts. First, 2 to the 8th minus a is equal to 2 to the 8th minus 1 minus a plus 1. Now don't worry about why this is going to be useful. Just convince yourself this is really true and it's pretty straightforward why it's true. The second fact is that the binary representation of 2 to the 8th minus 1 is just a bunch of 1. And then finally, if you subtract an 8-bit number a from this number that's all 1s, that just switches all the results. All the bits get switched from zeros to 1s and from 1s to 0. And the resulting thing from this switch is called the 1s complement. So for example, with a equals 37, we know, and it's pretty easy to see, that 37 base 10 is equal to 100101. That's not hard to calculate. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to subtract 37 from the number that's got all 1's, and that is just a bit flip. So what you should see is that when you want to subtract this number and you get this result, all you're doing is flipping the bits. The ones become zeros, the zeros become ones, and so on. So in binary notation, the difference 2 to the 8th minus 1 minus 37 is 11011010. But the first fact tells us that what we really need is to put that 1 back in. So now we just need to add 1 back in to get our final result. So remember that the 2's complement of 37 is the binary representation of 2 to the 8th minus 37. So that's why we're adding the 1 back in because we didn't really want this 1 to begin with. So let's outline the steps for finding the 8-bit 2's complement of a positive integer a. Write the 8-bit binary representation of a, flip the bits, and then add 1. And we'll go through some examples to see how this works. Okay, that's all for now.